call the keys here. Let's call the keys. You're gonna fall in, you're gonna fall in. <laughs> oh my gosh, all the geese. I think they're in there because of the grass, a bit of food. <laughs> Timing. I can get this. All the birds. Uh, too far away, that's oh, really annoying. They might come this way. Too far away. Just caught a captured the spring moment of a load of flock of birds. I just missed it. It's right in that direction. I should go again. There's quite a few of them in that direction. I'm gonna go over there and try and get it. This is an awesome angle to film. With a bird going across. There, yeah, because I've got all the jack doors over there. And I'll come back this way after. I've got to be careful because it's getting dark. Moment when they were all flying up in the sky, there was a load, like a whole flock of birds. Uh, it's up to capture it. They're all, they're all, all along there. I'm going to get as close as possible now. Yeah, there's a few up there. You can hear them. Oh, I've got to watch the ground to get a bit muddy now. They're all up in those trees. Yeah, they're all along here. They're all scattered from here. All the way, all the jack doors <coughs> are scattered along, along there. Just missed the moment when they're all in the sky. There's quite a few of them actually. Must be thousands, literally. How awesome can you get? Found at Waters, and this is a, a golf course. <sighs> and all those birds are all along there, they're all common line all along. Uh, it's still bright, it's still a bit of daylight, which is good. Uh, but the temperature's dropping rapidly, very, very quick. We just even fell at Waters. What's something different for a change? Uh, despite I've got the wrong sodding shoes on. Oh, well, it's well, squashing a few muddy puddles. Oh, now it's getting deep again. Oh, we've got water here, but there's no, um, uh, what do you call it? Lake. <laughs> it just floods. But it's nice here in the summer. It's all dried up there. People can play golf. This one, none of this would be, none of this water would be here. You literally won't get any water here. But it makes a perfect angle to make a good photo. Because a lot of people take photos in puddles. To get that perfect camera shot. I'll show you what I mean. I've shown you already before, so. Yeah. So none of this is supposed to be flooded. It's, um, it's not supposed to be. But where we had the rain and where it is. See, so like they've got the angle. <coughs> you know, you see some professional cameras. 
This is how they do it from the water. You zoom in, no filter needed. Look at that. Just a tip for you. Come at sunset. Once the sun's setted, walk around and get your photos. That's the perfect time to do it. And that's the only time to do it. Look at that. No filter or nothing I'm using. This is just like natural here in the Philip Wars. Beautiful though, right? And people wonder where you are. You know? Gotta avoid that one, it's a big, big one. <sighs> Gotta walk the way around. The birds have gone to sleep there. Oh, can't miss that m m moment. We're making our way right to back down to the station. We'll probably walk it. I might walk it actually. Get a bit of fresh air myself. See, look. Look at the angle. Look at the perfect angle on that. Look at that. How cool can you get for a camera angle there? Might put a few of these on my Instagram, eh? Down here, it gets dark. Over here, it gets darker. It's supposed to be dark, but look at the colour. When we have a sunset, you get the magical moments and people thinking, where are you gone? You know? Get it while you can. Oh, there's another puddle over there. I might go over there and get something over there. This is a perfect one, isn't it? Got the whole tree in the water, look at that. Oh, how cool can you get it? Just get down for an angle, look at that. Look at that. Just gonna get a few photos from here now. The view over the lake at night. It's beautiful, right? You've got civilization along there. Got the boat yachts just there. Is that the moon? Am I seeing the moon in the distance? Am I seeing things? Is that the moon? See it guys, the moon's not the moon is not white. It's red. Just there. It's not actually white. And I can't get a good picture of that. I might go further away and get it. Yeah, the moon's not actually officially white yet, because the sun's not set properly on the horizon yet. Here we have two ducks. Two ducks. Just there. Uh, chilling while the sun's probably going down. Guys what you're looking at is actually the moon. See what colour it is? It's because the sun behind us is not settled. I'm using a zoom in camera while I've got to attached the camera to this. So I can extra zoom in. Extra, extra zoom. Let's try and study that. But look at that. That's the moon you're looking at. This is the lake, because I've got the zoom in camera now. See, over here. It's the horizon, you've got the lake just there. It's the proper zoom in camera actually I've got on. So I can check the moon out, it's not officially white. It's actually orangey, orangey yellow colour moon. It's a nice colour though. I'm gonna try and get a good picture of that. It's just absolutely amazing. It's a rare thing to see actually. Oh, there we are. It's a rare thing to see. It's nice to see it. How cool can you get? Wow. That is sick. That is a nice picture, right? I'm going to film it with the camera zooming off so you can see what it's like in the distance. Distance is not cool, it's not that cool. But you can see the little yellow haze. But it comes out better on the zoom. 
because the sun's not officially set. Oh, there we go. Look at that shot. Oh, try to catch that in time. It's lovely here at night, actually. The temperature's literally dropped, though. Freaking dropped. It's getting dark now. But the moon is looking lovely. Looking wonderful. Lovely to capture those uh, awesome moments where the moon is not white. But as soon as it gets to the horizon, sort of about here, as it gets up to the top, it will change colour and it go bright, bright, bright white. Because when the sun will hit on the other side, it will reflect back to the moon. Deciding to walk it back tonight because I wonder what views we're going to get of the moon. Amazing tonight. We've got spectacular moments. Let's get the camera right. The moon should have changed colour again because the. Uh, it went yellow again. Let's see if it's worked. Let's see if it, oh yeah, oh. I'm trying to get it right. Well, let's get a bit of tint of white. It was yellow a minute ago. It's getting whiter now. Yeah, it's changing colour now, isn't it? Lovely. Full moon. Look at that, look at that. Look at that. I'm going to take the camera off in a minute and start filming. Just want to do a zoom in for a minute. There we are. You can see where the moon is actually yellow on the water. So look at the water reflection compared to the moon. You can see where the sun behind me is not completely darkness yet. And why the sun has not gone fully onto the moon. And it's sort of uh, got yellow. We saw that earlier on, where it's fully yellow. But it's just nice to see that here. And it's not even the sun, that's the moon. Nice moments here in Fellow Waters. The geese are still here. One's gone to sleep, actually. You think where they sleep, they sleep on the lake. I want to sleep up there on the uh, a little island they got. I'm just enjoying the moment here while I've got a chance before I go back home. The sun has kind of done its job yet. It's getting brighter by the minute. By the time I go back it'll be about a white full moon. Let's enjoy these moments here for the was. Especially first day of spring. I need Johnny's moments, guys. Hey, guys, for the last time, here in Fellow Waters, the moon and its reflection on the water. Let me just start my walking in a minute. We've been out for a long time by the way. We've been out since like 3.30 or well, half three we've been out chasing the uh, sunset and also uh, the moon which you can see is just there. Just that blob in the sky. That's the moon. You're looking at the moon. You can't see it very well when you've got your street lights. It spoils the atmosphere and the quality of the area. You know? Let's get an awesome vlog today. You get. Oh, you got a lot to watch, guys. <laughs> We're digging in. I'm catching these moments for you, you know. But I'm going to make sure I go down the alleyway and put a torch on. Oh, I thought I'd walk it back. I can't be bothered to train it back. Oh. But at least they've got a train here anyway. But uh, I'm cosy and warm anyway. I've got a thermal coat, uh, thermal, I've got a coat on, jumper, well not a jumper, long sleeve t-shirt. I've got an extra scarf in case it gets a bit nippy. But I'm alright in the moment, I'm not complaining when they're uh, cold. But I'm going to go back and have another lovely 
lovely warm drink. This is the eerie weary way to walk because we've got a filter, it's quite dark. But we've got the moon shining, not bright yet because look, it's still daylight on the other side. It's funny how the sun takes ages to set. It's settled, but it's still on the other side. It's weird how it works, the whole thing. But I see the moon. You see it just there, there. Just there. But yeah, we're on our way back now. Oh, it's gonna be a long way though. A long way. It's cold as well. Well, it's not cold as in uh, freezing, it's just a tint of cold, like fresh kind of feel. Yeah. Oh. You could say it's at owner's risk going down there when you think about it. It's a bit wary. I do live in the countryside. Uh, so, yeah comes with it. <coughs> I'm used to the area. I don't think it's not always safe, is it? You don't know what to expect every day, do you really? But it's nice. I can't see on the field. The field is pitch black. But I can see where I'm walking. Oh. Hope you enjoyed that uh, video of the moon and the, uh, and the sunsets. I want to do something different for a change. Uh, since we're in a can't go anywhere sort of thing situation, I sort of did it like that. And why not? I sort of feel okay, guys. I'm gonna turn the camera and say goodbye for this video. <laughs> I can honestly say it's an interesting evening. Something I'll never forget in a hurry. Oh. Hope you uh, all have a great spring. Um, yeah, I hope spring comes nice. Nothing awesome is going to happen to me travelling into the summertime, so we've got to wait that long apparently. But yeah, happy spring to you all from the UK. Until next time guys.